focus a little more on uh, what the budget plan actually entails as well. The Moon administration's budget proposal will now go through a deliberation process in the National Assembly. It's going to start on Thursday and take one month. Uh, but given the amount of funds the president wants, it looks as though that process is not going to be smooth sailing. Our Eugene, he has more on what the 2018 budget might look like if the president gets his way. The timer has started on the Moon Jae-in government's budget plan for next year, which, according to the president, will improve the livelihoods of ordinary Koreans. Weighing in at a hefty 383 billion U.S. dollars, the proposed budget will be 12.9 percent higher than the one allocated for this year. More than two-thirds is set to be earmarked for a variety of job creation and social welfare programs as part of President Moon's campaign pledge. The biggest bone of contention between rival parties is the government's plan to add some 174,000 new jobs in the public sector over the next five years. The ruling party's $357.5 million extra payroll budget would only cover the salaries of 15,000 new public servants in the central administration next year. No separate funds have been allocated to regional governments to meet their quota of hiring new workers. The country's minimum wage could also fuel heated debate among lawmakers, with the government eyeing a series of further hikes after raising it by 16.4 percent for next year. The National Assembly's Budget Committee estimates President Moon's pledge to raise the minimum wage to 10,000 won, or roughly $9 an hour, could cost the government some $6.5 billion in wage support measures by 2020. Critics are doubtful about whether the government's spending boost can be sustained without running a deficit, which could require a broad tax hike on the middle class. After a series of meetings and deliberations by the Parliamentary Budget Committee and relevant ministries, the bill will be put up for a vote in the National Assembly's next plenary session on December 2nd. Eugenie, Arirang News.